Hi guys, welcome to Five Years CT podcast. Today we have Abul Fard, and he got selected for IELTS Pune, and uh, and his score is one one two out of one fifty. He joined us for the test series and the study material program, and uh, cap round is so far ongoing. But in the first list only, he got selected for the IELTS, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so Abul, first of all, uh, welcome to the podcast and congratulations for your score. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I am very grateful to Manual Education for making this dream come true. I would say you, you guys are very constant in helping me in real time. Like uh, I would have frequent communication with the entire Manual team regarding any doubt I have of any sort, whether it's exam preparation, getting done with the documents, and the entire CAP process. Because I am an OMS candidate, I have a little to no idea about how this thing is done. But you guide me through everything. Okay, thank you, thank you, and finally you have made it. I mean, you have done hard work and you yes, finally sir. selected for the IELTS Pune. So your hard work, yes. hard work is also there. Yes, sir, it is definitely. So which state city you belong to? Sir, I am from Jaipur, Rajasthan. Jaipur, Rajasthan. Okay. So tell me about your background, academic background, and how this, how you think about the law city exam. How you got to know about the law city examination? Sir, I completed my twelfth uh, in with humanities during the pandemic. and but i had a clear idea a clear vision ever since i took humanities that i want to pursue law because it the, this field has introduced me a lot ever since i was a child everyone said that i had good communication skills and law is a place where i can definitely ex- expert this thing to the apex i would say and you know when we are small in pre school and mid school we study about sst civics and rules and regulations so i was always amazed about constitution how well it it was crafted and it was crafted so long ago but still it holds up to its legacy even today and how things have been enforced by it so it always intrigues me law as a field as a career option okay great great moreover i saw my parents my mother is a assistant professor in law my father practices in high court so it was kind of from the family side also it helped me out in what i would say highlighting or showcasing my projection into this field Okay. Okay. Yes, so entire family is into the law domain only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Great. So, uh, have you got to know about us, Manuor? Have you got to know about? Ah, uh, sir. Ah, uh, I would say you are the biggest YouTube channel going on. If as far as MHCT law preparation is concerned, you are uploading videos for I would say around three four years or something. So I watched the analysis of past year mocks. I watched the toppers podcast and all the content you provided. Online, of of it, ah, uh, I watched all all the videos, sir. So that's how I came to know about it. Ah, uh, the a little backstory. Ah, uh, my client score was not great to say the least. So me and my mother, we just went on a journey of discovering where can we get into, and then we discovered you. And I remember the form was extended third time, and on the last second last date of the third extension, we registered for M H C T, sir. Okay. Yeah, so it was just I would say, a mere luck that I appeared for MHCT. I had no plans of appearing it. Actually, there is a common convention between OMS candidates that eighty five percent seats are reserved for Maharashtra states candidates, and we have only have ten percent seat. But what I would like to say is that we should focus on grabbing our one seat. We need only one single seat, not the entire twenty four or whatever seat we want. That should be the focus, and I think we should, you know. we doubt all those pe- people who demotivate us during our journey because demotivation is very bad for any preparation of any sort and getting this much demotivation will only hamper your preparation but entrance exam is obviously we need to understand this entrance exam is all about the demotivation only you have to ready for the demotivation yes, because sir, sometimes yes. you don't understand topic you are uh, things yes. are not going according to you the way you are thinking you are stuck in a particular section this happens because that is a part of the preparation and how you bounce back how you fight that is a challenge yes. when it comes to the entrance exam so apart from the ct any other entrance you have appeared yes sir i have appeared for clat and elet too and uh, other entrance exam of private universities okay yeah but i would say mhct was the most challenging one for me and it was kind of new too because okay. uh, there were certain things that i never tried or studied to mm-hmm. uh, ever since the elet pattern changed the reasoning it was entirely cut out so it okay. was i started preparing for it again during that one rigorous month between i would say july uh-huh. the month of july from okay. june to july uh-huh. 
Yes, sir. So, as you mentioned, you have watched many videos of many words. So, how many podcasts you had watched when you were preparing for the examination, and what was the feeling when you were watching the podcasts? Yeah, sir. I have watched around uh, four or five podcasts, but it it was mainly in the the group podcasts sir, where there were a cu- couple of students, a lot of people were participating, uh, and I draw a lot of inference from it. Uh, I would say they acted kind of motivating to me, like they also get in. So can anybody. Uh, but even though I my paper went well, I was expected around one thirty five to one thirty four marks. But when the result came, sir, uh, it was down to one one twelve. And me and my mother, we especially thought that we are finished, we are done. We now have to go to those colleges because because we expected everyone to score more. But even in that situation, Manuel held it pretty good for me. I was in a constant communication with your team, and they said me that everybody has scored less, and you still have a chance. So just don't back out just yet. And then the you know the video started coming. You made the video that cut off is expected to go very low, and you uh, you said it. I still remember it was one zero six for MH candidates, and I added uh, six marks to it, which is equals to one one twelve. So it kind of gives me hope and positivity that I will get into ILS. Okay, great. So when you are watching podcasts, have you thought of that time like uh, one day you will be giving the podcast? <laughs> Absolutely no, sir. Sir, I didn't thought that I will even have a word with you yet alone a podcast for myself. It's really ah uh, what I would say. I'm very honored to be here in ha- in having a one to one conversation with you, sir. Thank you. Same here. Same here. I'm happy that you got selected for IELTS. That is the best happiness for me as of now. I mean, this is what my ah uh, I mean, you have made my day basically. Yes, and I like the I like the your manuver's vision also. That सबको ex- exam लिखने का है. You have this. Okay. ओशन But what I would say is there are a couple of books, especially yours book. It really helped me out to concentrate on the part where I I should my focus should be on static GK mainly, and current GK too. I current GK I followed all those websites, but static GK it considers a lot of big chunk of portion of MHCT, and your books really helped me out. Other than GK, I would say, sir, uh, I was good in maths. I so other challenges I would face was reasoning. In reasoning too, sir. in particular i would say those puzzles and i am very glad that i did those puzzles because there was this puzzle which was a very high level which came in slot 2 i was in the slot 2 and if i wouldn't have done that it is clear chance that i would have lost my five marks there and there there was this puzzle which which was not a journal analytical puzzle it was i would say some somewhat tricky puzzle right right so right what tricky puzzle yeah yes yes i think and i was also in slot 2 only this year I, yeah if i'm not wrong and, yes sir and then then there is this sir unexpectedly like anything can go go in ct there also your mocks really helped me out other than that sir uh, i would say english grammar because we have this convention we study grammar till i would say 8th or 9th grade after that we all get those questions like just they are just made in the exam and nobody teaches us that so mm. i would say uh, looking back at at grammar or revising it was a bit dry in the beginning but as the progress went on i got pretty smooth with it, with it. okay yeah and other hurdles basically i faced was just being distracted being demotivated by people around me i turned off social media basically i am quite i would say alien to social media i never use it but i even i cut out the small part because you mhcd tend to conduct on later part with other exams so you see your friends they are already into colleges they are posting images and all it just distracts you so it's highly advisable from me personally that we should weed out social media for a bit during our preparation or we can just quit it entirely that would be even better i would say okay okay great so you uh, i mean you got the books of manuva so how many question from each topic you have practiced and how many times yeah sir i think i have solved the entire reasoning book of manuver education uh, and as far as gk is concerned since it's quite lengthy i only focused on the objective question mcqs 
and okay. by grace of god or i would say sheer luck those questions only came in the exam okay yes okay, okay. so uh, you have appeared for topic test and full length mock test both yes sir i have i have given around uh, i would say 3 to 4 mocks i know the number is quite considerably less but considering the fact that i prepared only in one month i would say uh, i did okay my only advice would be should start mock a bit earlier and but the preparation the, but since you have prepared for the other entrance examination that preparation helped yeah, you yeah, also, it, it definitely helps me help me out moreover sir i think it's important to focus on quality rather than quantity we should give mock on a considerable number but we should analyze it pretty well like mm-hmm. i remember i spent around 5 to 6 hours analyzing each and every mock and each and every question of mine mm-hmm. it also helped me out a lot correct 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 mm-hmm. so the last question which i want to ask you what tips or the suggestion you want to give to upcoming year aspirant those who are targeting for ct 23 24 25 26 yeah sir <clears throat> i would like to represent uh, a huge and respectable portion of oms candidates who would be appearing for this exam my first and foremost advice would be just don't listen to anyone who is saying that you won't get in there is a t- tremendous reservation made for state candidates you just want only one seat and you, your focus should be only of it second i would say sir to get rid of social media because you will get let's be real you will you will get demotivated seeing your friends already into colleges and you will see where i am i'm still preparing for exam my third would be sir to start a bit early i would say since the exam is in march i think that you should simultaneously prepare it with your boards and if you are a dropout student then you are pretty lucky i would say start 2 3 months prior to that and what i am saying by start is giving mocks and getting into full actual preparation not just learning the concepts and getting edge over everything and my last advice would be always be calm and patient uh, because i was personally very anxious when i went to the center to give exam it's very important to have your nerves calm there because anything can go wrong in in my even where i was giving exam there were issues like com- people's computer they were logging out there were all other issues but you just have to keep calm of your nerves and just give it the exam and last i would say is don't judge anything until everything is done and completed because you never know what ct cell might have for you or what future or god might have for you so just be patient with everything okay fine nice talking to you abul uh, lots of information you have shared so those who are watching this podcast if you are outside maharashtra student oms student ho to there is nothing as such ki aapka selection nahi ho sakta definitely you can crack the exemption with the good score and if you are ms student obviously you have a more seat so keep preparing well and do start your preparation be patient write the mock test cut off from your this part social media wala part jo mobile hai usko side karo thoda and uh, focus on your preparation this is what uh, summary of this podcast which we have discussed uh, and uh, once again uh, congratulations for your ielts selection abul and uh, all the best for your future career all theek hai bye bye